Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. This will be another news roundup video. Let's just kick things off with that Wahoo World will be releasing later on today for you guys in North America. It will be coming out tomorrow for people living in Europe. So Wahoo World will be coming out at 5pm for people living on the west coast of America. That is 8pm for people living on the east coast of America. It will be coming out at 1 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning for people living in the UK. And that is 2 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning for people living in Europe. Now because Wahoo World will be coming out at 1 o'clock in the morning my time. That is the reason why you will not be seeing any Wahoo World gameplay from me straight away. But what I am planning to do is do like a live commentary where I do play on Wahoo World for like the first time. And record my reactions as I am playing that match live so instead of me recording the gameplay and recording my voice afterwards I will be recording my voice at the same time as when I am playing the match that you will be seeing in the background so that is what I am planning to do for Wahoo World and I am planning to do an open lobby for Wahoo World as well I normally do this when a new stage does come to the game now this is going to be a little bit different to how I normally do open lobbies just because what I normally do is do like an open lobby for like two or three hours but I'm not sure whether I will have the time to do that or not so what I will be doing on Friday is doing multiple open lobbies but these lobbies will be shorter in length than what I normally do so the first one will be between 4 p.m and 5 p.m. UK time. I will have times for North America on screen now. The second one will be between 9 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. UK time. And the last one will be between 10 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. And then on Monday, I will do another open lobby between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., maybe a little bit longer than that just so that you guys in North America can take part in these open lobbies as well. So what I do in these open lobbies is play on the new stage on every single game mode twice and then if I do have time I will play on like random stages and random game modes as well. But that is what I am planning to do. Hopefully you guys can get involved. Make sure you follow my Twitter account because then I will give up to date information on these open lobbies now if you want to add me on the switch unfortunately i do have a backlog of over 100 people waiting to be on my friends list and unfortunately my friend list is getting full i've only got one space available i am deleting inactive people on my friend list but unfortunately because there is over 100 people like waiting for me to accept their friend request if you do send in a request now it will take me a while to accept your request so wahoo world will be coming out later today for you guys in north america early in the morning tomorrow morning for people living in the uk and the rest of europe and we've got some more screenshots of wahoo world and yeah i can't wait to play on this stage for me this stage is the best looking stage in the game Seriously, I just can't wait to play on this stage, I really can't. I really am looking forward to the open lobbies as well. The Japanese Splatoon Twitter account has also released a short GIF of Wahoo World and it shows a jellyfish riding in a roller coaster. And we got a short description of Wahoo World and pretty much Wahoo World is near Inkopoli Square and it is full of attractions such as a Ferris wheel and a roller coaster as well. Inklings spend time at Wahoo World with their friends and family. It is only the jellyfish that go on the roller coasters and the Ferris wheel. Inklings are too interested in battling to you know, ride on the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel. So Wahoo World, it looks really cool. I can't wait to play on it myself, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also at the same time when Wahoo World will be coming out, we will be getting four new weapons for the game. And those weapons are the Carbon Roller Deco, which will be coming with the Burst Bomb Sub Weapon and the Auto Bomb Launcher Special Weapon. The Carbon Roller Deco sounds like a really powerful setup. 
I think this will be really popular with the community. I think it might get quite annoying coming up against somebody that does have an auto bomb launcher. I do believe this is a new special weapon or this special weapon has barely been used in the game at this point. I'm sure a lot of people will use the carbon roller deco because it does come with the auto bomb launcher. I will definitely try and use this setup myself though, just because I definitely would love to use the auto bomb launcher. The Rapid Blaster Pro Deco will also be coming to the game as well, and it will be coming with the Splash Wall sub weapon and the Ink Armor special weapon. The Sorella Undercover Brella will also be coming to the game as well and it will be coming with the splat bomb sub weapon and the ball art special weapon now the name of this weapon might change but the custom jewelry squelcher will also be coming to the game as well and it will be coming with the splat bomb sub weapon and the ink armor special weapon i think i will use this new jewelry squelcher setup the most out of all of the new weapons that will be coming to the game let me know your thoughts about all of these new weapons coming to the game in the comment section below. Also at the same time rank X will be reset and we will be getting different stages for the ranked modes as well. So for Splat Zones the stages available for the next month will be Starfish Main Stage, Inkblot Art Academy, Sturgeon Shipyard, Port Mackerel, Manta Maria, Snapper Canal, Shenandoah Institute and Wahoo World. For Tower Control, the stages available will be Inkblot Art Academy, Marais Towers, Black Bell Escape Park, Mako Mart, Gobi Arena, Piranha Pit, Camp Triggerfish and Wahoo World. For Rainmaker, the stages available will be The Reef, Muscle Forge Fitness, Snapper Canal, Walla Warehouse, Arowana Mall, Gobi Arena, Camp Triggerfish and Wahoo World. For Clan Blitz, the stages available will be Pump Back Pump Track, Sturgeon Shipyard, Manta Maria, Kelp Dome, Mako Mart, Walla Warehouse and Wahoo World. So there are all of the stages available for all of the ranked modes for June. And the last piece of news that I will be covering in this video is that we got some more details about one of the passengers on the Deep Sea Metro in the Opto Expansion. It is said that these youngsters have big mouths because they are always thinking about food. You will find them on the Deep Sea Metro in the Octo Expansion in Splatoon 2. Now if I do have time today then I do hope to upload my E3 Octo Expansion predictions. But that is it for this video. And yeah let me know your thoughts about everything that I have covered in this video. And yeah we'll see you in the next video.